computer, a vault tech terminal. Ooh. Greetings. After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to the newest addition to the vault tech family, Vault 114. Like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavor, but we are not quite ready to open that great big gear door to our new residence yet. As you've probably noticed, we've contracted outside of vault tech for construction on this one, since it is utilizing a unique space. By repurposing the former Park Street subway station, we will be seeing a decrease in building costs, as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly with the vault's observational studies, which will be revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of this, we will be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction is fully completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. They also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome once again, vault Tech Management. This memorandum is meant for members of the Vault 114 Science Division only, or those with appropriate security clearance levels, SL 4+. All others must exit this terminal immediately and report your infraction to the Overseer or a member of Vault Tech Security. Thank you. Social Science Division as mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabitating solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single-room apartments. Dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position from many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience, and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment, or harm to residents. Thank you, Fault Tech Management.